but lack Jackie, of social etiquette. It, it is, mm. isn't it? it is. Yeah. Mm. But do you think now, obviously, Gregory and I, me, frankly, more than Gregory by the looks of us, we're haggard old men. Um, you two lovely young ladies, do you think that A, because at 50, I can look at a situation, not be hyped up in my own ego and respond from a lifetime of experience. Do you think that's young people that are doing this that are eager, you know? <laughs> so, Jackie? I think it's a mix. Ooh. I agree. What do you think, I think it is a, I've, I think, I've seen some. Yeah, I think, I think it is a mix. I think it's it's also it's you know who are their who are their role models, who's teaching them that this is the norm and that this is the acceptable way to be, you know, conducting their own businesses because those you know, those who've had, let's say, the more traditional upbringing with the, if you've got nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. I don't imagine that they're the ones who are partaking in this kind of behaviour online. Whereas those that, you know, perhaps are, have been raised more as friends than the boundaries of adult and parent, <laughs> sorry, parent and child relationship, uh, they don't really have these you know, that moral compass that kind of says to you, okay, there's approaching a line, okay, standing on the line, <laughs> definitely going over the line. I think for some people it just doesn't exist. But, mm. you know, when you're you're young and you're starting out in your career and you're excited and you're eager to get to move ahead, uh, perhaps you just don't take that time. I think that's down to the culture of the organisation you're working for, whether these are things that are, you know, part of their induction into their role that, you know, there, there are, there is this email professional etiquette that does exist. And because this company is aware of their reputation, they make the point to really educate their new recruits and their new starters on behaving, you know, conducting themselves in a certain kind of way. Whereas those who, you know, perhaps it is more of a numbers game, they just let them out and they let them loose. And, and that individual has to either learn the hard way when they are, you know, completely ignored and don't get anywhere near the sales that they're expected to get, or they cross paths with a mature, measured, experienced individual who actually says to them, you know, this isn't the right way to behave. Try this instead. They give it a go because they're young and relatively open to learning and they, they learn another way so yeah i think it does vary a lot i as you were explaining i so i try to be nice to people and like gregory was saying if you have time it's sometimes okay to to give some feedback so if it's a linkedin message i'll tend to keep it down to five words like no thanks but no thanks because I got these LinkedIn messages and that thing about email etiquette. So I used to work for a corporate and we were specifically trained in email etiquette insofar as make sure you change the subject line so you're not forwarding a blah, 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 blah. So the person receiving it in their inbox knows it's specific. Line spacing between paragraphs and uh, a, a line spacing after each line as well. So it was literally line of text, space, line of text, space. And that way, and I only know now, I only, only now know this because I've seen it the other way, great blocks of text. Bricks, we call them bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bricks, that's well, bricks. well put. Yeah. yeah. What is the deal with that, Julie? It's just, like you say, a lack of education, I think, a lack of education on what's yeah. needed in the digital space, especially mm -hmm. on social media. People use social media like it's some kind of different world, but it is a world that we all live in now. And there has to be a level of social or digital etiquette that a lot of people just don't have because they don't have it as a person. And also, they don't really learn from people who are integral. I can tell you that there are people, coaches, quote-unquote, 